I don't quite know what I expected going into this, but from the description on Netflix's homepage, I imagined our damsel either escaping or making her own deal with the dragon early doors, and then for her to spend the rest of the film die-harding her way around a fantasy castle, capping fool and murking bitches left and right, as, fueled by revenge, rage and bloodlust, she works her way through those who condemned her to death, until at last she stood alone, surrounded by wealth and death, the wind howling through a lifeless castle, having become the dragon herself. What we get instead is Millie Bobby Brown spelunking for the best part of an hour and a half in a cave made of styrofoam, hiding from a dragon that repeatedly forgets that it can a smell its prey and b breathe fire, with Millie Bobby Brown repeatedly getting away from its clutches by just going around a corner. 